guys, welcome to Kimikaze's Garage again. Uh, just doing a bit of a video on the next phase, knocking out a couple of hours, doing a little bit of work. I looked up online uh, today while I was uh, a little bit idle, looked up a new intercooler that'll fit up nicely behind that radiator. Also a replacement aluminium radiator. And uh, I've got a couple of thermo fans uh, laying around. Uh, I just have to make up a shroud, but I'm thinking about getting all of that stuff mounted up in the front. So I'm going to drop this radiator out, uh, drop the fluid out, drop the radiator out, and get a bit of clarity, give it a bit of a clean up, and uh, probably buy that radiator and intercooler and get them mounted and worry about the piping after that. I've got to take a fair bit out of the engine bay, do a bit of polishing and things, but we'll have a look in there right now. This is a bit of the grot down inside the radiator support panel. So I'm going to drop that radiator out and probably have a look at cleaning up a bit down through there. Fairly grotty. Um, take this it's a turbo outlet going running down to the intercooler so drop that off and see if I can drop these intercooler pipes off as well. Bit of a mission. This is the trusty coolant catcher. Use that on my old Tirana. She works well. That water is absolutely disgusting. Uh, good to take that out. Have a bit of a look at the cooling system. I'll take you out and have a look at the water. She has a semblance of being green. It's sort of like a murky swamp green. So this was <clears throat> a part of the thermatic controller, old manual unit. I'm going to use one of the Davis Craig units on this once I put it all back together and automate the system.
So that's the radiator out. It's got this filthy gunk. I don't know whether you can see that in the cooling system. Looks pretty ugly. Good reason to pull it apart and give it a clean out. I've taken the uh, the old windscreen wa washer bottle and the um, radiator reservoir overflow tank out. I'll probably just replace those with some aftermarket units. Um, the wiring needs a really good tidy up. Just trace a bit of that through and see if I can minimise and tidy up. She's going everywhere like spaghetti. You might have noticed in the last video I mentioned how tight it was. I thought it was a rear end and I still think the uh, handbrake's got a few issues. But um, this front wheel particularly was incredibly tight. I think these are Toyota Crown um, discs and uh, calipers. Someone might be able to identify them. Um, the wheels are awesome. I love these wheels. I think I'm just going to paint these wheels up. They've got a little Ford emblem on them. I think that's a Ford emblem down there. I think these are known as Pursuit rims. But they're a really nice rim. I think I'll knock the tyres off them, take them up to my mate and get him to do a bit of a paint job on I think I'll just do them gloss black or something like that. The other one's over here, same style. And again, this rotor, yeah, I can't rotate it, so she's pretty tight. The discs, I'd say they've just been sitting there too long. Um, could be the uh, fluid's gone a bit hard in the pistons, who knows. But she all needs a good look at in here. So while I've got it pulled apart, I'll get in and have a look at that. Wouldn't mind putting a new set of struts on as well. So open to suggestions in that area. Other than the, uh, the grime, if we come up, there's that 1G GTE logo on the front of the engine. Nice. She's a... Uh, Reasonably strong looking subframe. Very impressed with the subframe, even where I've got the uh, the stands at the moment, right at the front of the car. Nothing as strong as that in the old Holdens that I've been working on. Looks quite good. She all needs a massive clean up. I think I might get into that tomorrow. So still a fair bit to do. Feeling grotty. Haven't done a lot this afternoon, but as you can see out there, she's uh, she's well beyond afternoon. She's on to evening. So I might finish up 